So in today's graphic design tutorial, I'm going to show you a really easy and a really neat method for actually making patterns that you can use on mockups, on designs, on pretty much anything you want. And you're going to be surprised at how easy and how awesome this technique is. As a graphic designer, it's crucially important to have a space on the internet to showcase your portfolio of work. Bookmark offers a straightforward and an easy to use website solution where you don't even need to type out a single line of code. Check out Bookmark linked down in the description box below and design your website today. So if we're going to make a pattern for a design, you obviously need to have a graphic to begin with and it can be multiple graphics or just a single graphic like I've got this vector lion head on screen right now. You don't have to do this, but this is just like a bonus kind of like trick tip for you guys. If you really, really want to center a object onto an artboard, one of the ways you can do that is to head into the artboard options, and then you can actually turn on the center point for the artboard. And then that allows you to align the vector completely in the dead center of your artboard. So how do we go about making these patterns? How do we generate our graphics into really neat and really useful patterns? Well, firstly, select your graphic, then come up to Object, and then Pattern and Make. You're going to notice a few windows that appear, and one of them is the Swatches window, which I'll explain soon. And then also you have the Pattern Options window, and also this message here, which doesn't really matter too much about that. But so once you actually click OK, you generate a pattern, a pretty a standard pattern to be honest. And as you can see, the main design is a bit darker than the rest, and that's not going to carry on throughout the entire design, it's just for this part of the process. So the first thing I suggest you do is you head into the pattern options, and you change the name of the pattern. Now this is because once you do this, Illustrator is actually going to automatically save your pattern into the swatches library, which is really, really neat because you can use that anytime you want on any workflow. So heading back into the pattern options, we have the tile type, and this is essentially the layout of the pattern. And this is going to completely depend on your design, you know, what the use and the optimization is for your pattern. And flicking through them, I'm wondering what I want to do for my design personally. And I think I'm going to go for a brick by column. That seems pretty decent and yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then you have the brick set option, which just changes the offset of the pattern around between each graphic design. If you come into the width and the height values, you can change how, you know, the spacing between them, between the height and the width. And I personally like to do this with percentages, so like 50%. For my design, this doesn't really need to be changed, so I'm going to keep it back to the original standard that it was. You want to work on the graphic design that's in the center panel, and essentially anything you do to this graphic will change the whole pattern as a whole. So I'm going to go for a kind of a blue, cool, calm color for my design. That's easily done in the swatches library. And finally, in the pattern options, you have some more spacing options here that you can change to uh, negative or positive, so you can adjust the spacing between each graphic on your pattern. So, once you guys have your pattern ready and done, you literally go up and click done. That's what you have to do. But then how do we use it? What are we going to use a pattern for? Well, to quickly show you how to use it in Illustrator, if you want to make a box or a design or anything like that, just generate the, uh, the box, then come into the Properties menu, click the Fill icon, and you will see your pre-made pattern swatch, which you just simply click. And then of course, I've just gone ahead and used it as a mock-up, which I sourced from the internet, and the link for this mock-up is down below. This is a really, really interesting, a really neat, and a really simple way to make a really cool pattern for your next graphic design project. If 
you want to see more content from myself, Tom Satori, make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content and do click that bell icon if you want to keep updated to all of my videos. Have a great day and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.